بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله رب العرش العظيم وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله خاتم النبيين والمرسلين صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم تسليما أما بعد قال شيخ الإسلام محمد عبد الوهاب رحمه الله تعالى في أصول ستة الأصل الثاني أمر الله بالاجتماع في الدين ونهى عن التفرق فيه فبين الله هذا بيانا شافيا تفهمه العوام ونهانا أن نكون كالذين تفرقوا واختلفوا قبل قبلنا فهلكوا وذكر أنه عمر المسلمين بالاجتماع في الدين ونهاهم عن التفرق فيه ويزود ويزيده وضوحا ما وردت به السنة من العجب العجاب في ذلك ثم صار الأمر إلى أن الافتراق في أصول الدين وفروعه هو العلم والفقه في الدين وصار الاجتماع في الدين لا يقوله إلا زنديق أو مجنون He says رحمه الله تعالى الإمام الشيخ الإسلام محمد وحاب رحمه الله in the second principle after the first uh, principle and foundation which was uh, al-ikhlas that sincerity for in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He now mentions the second principle and that is the command of Allah, the command of al ijtima The command of al ijtima And that is ijtima in the deen. And the prohibition of a tafarruq. Yani differing in the deen. Differing in the deen. The prohibition regarding this. And this is in accordance, this is in accordance to the Quran and the Sunnah. As we mentioned in the previous lesson, in Sheikh al-Islam, he's extrapolated these usul, these foundations from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And like in this second one here, this second asal, the second principle, this is according to the Quran and the Sunnah. And from the Quran, it's a statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Azza wa Jal, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِهَابِ لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءَ فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا Hold firm to the robe of Allah, all of you, and do not divide. Do not divide, do not split from that rope. Remember the blessings of Allah upon you when you are enemies. Then Allah made your hearts together. So this is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a prohibition. Al-amru min Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa nahi Wal-amru huwa al-amru bil and the command is number one holding firm to the rope of Allah Jami'an this is the first command here in this verse and that's according to the asl that Shaykh al-Islam he mentions here in the Surah Sitta وَاَعْتِسْمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ Jami'an hold firm to the rope of Allah all of you together and this rope of Allah this is mentioned by the Salaf is the book of Allah and this rope of Allah is also mentioned by the Salaf that it is the Ahd. This contract that the Abd he has with Allah to worship Allah along with Tawheed. And others have said that the rope of Allah is Al-Ikhlas. And others have said, like Abdullah ibn Mas'udin radiyallahu an, have said that the rope of Allah is Al-Jama'ah. The jama'ah is ma wafaq al-haq walaw kunta wahdak. The jama'ah is that which is in accordance to the truth, even if you're on your own. 
this is the rope of Allah. Yani, this is the deen. al ijtima fi deen Because that is the only way, the ijtima fi deen gathering together and being up, together upon the religion. Naam. Having unity upon the religion. This is the only way for salvation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us with this. وَأَتِسْمُ بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا And he prohibited subhanahu wa ta'ala وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And do not divide. And this goes according to the statement of Shaykh al-Islam in this, in this asl وَالنَّهَا عَنِ التَّفَرُّقِ وَالنَّهَا عَنِ التَّفَرُّقِ فِيهِ And he prohibited separation and division therein and yani within this religion because we have to hold firm to the love of Allah and do not divide and do not divide so this is the Amr of Allah and this is the Nahi this is the Amr of Allah and this is the Nahi and the Amr, the command of Allah is al ijtimaf al deen sticking to the religion together and the prohibition is a tafarruq fi, and that is divided. As for the definition of al amr, as it relates to the Sharia, al amr huwa al talab al al fi'l min man huwa fawqak, and that is. The, the, the request to do an action or say an action from that ala wajil isti'la as some have mentioned ala wajil isti'la and that is from that who from that person or that that one that is more superior than you and the one that is superior here is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is the amr from Allah wa nahi prohibition as is understood from the ulama is al kaf and that is to refrain and some say al-tark al kaf yani to refrain and in fi'l al qawl al waj al isti'la and that is to stop stay away from and refrain from something and that request is come from one who is above and more superior and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in this is Amr wa Nahi. The command and, the prohib- and prohibition. Command is to stick together upon the su- upon the deen. And the prohibition is to divide therein. This is the prohibition and, that, and the command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now. So here it shows the fiqh of Shaykh al-Islam. Muhammad abdul Wahab. Ta'ala. It shows the fiqh of Shaykh al-Islam Muhammad Abdul Hab Ta'ala. in sticking close and tight to the text. Because this command of al ijtimaa fi deen and sticking to the religion is a command that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded the awwaleen wa akhireen, the people of old and the ones at latter. Kama qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shara'a lakum. من الدين ما وصى به نوح والذين والذي أوحينا إليك وما وصينا به إبراهيم وموسى وعيسى أن نقيم الدين ولا تتفرقوا فيه أن أقيم الدين ولا تتفرقوا فيه and that is Allah subhanahu wa taala he said in سورة شورى that he has legislated for me, for you for in the religion that which he has done for the likes of Noah and those who he has revealed to and counseled from them Ibrahim and Musa and Isa and that which Allah commanded them all and aqimu din and that is to establish the religion wala tatafarraqu fi and do not divide and do not divide in this religion. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, Inna hadhi ummatukum ummatan wahida. 
Wa ana rabbukum fa'buduni. Verily, this ummah of nation of yours is one nation. Ummatun. Ummatan wahida is one nation. And I am your Lord. So worship me alone, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. So this is al ijtima fi deen is, get, is taken together, unity upon the deen, upon tawheed. Inna hadhi ummatukum, ummatan wahida. This is, this uh, ummah of yours is a one nation. And that nation is gathered upon tawheed. Wa ana rabbukum fa'budun. Which is why Shaykh al-Islam, he says, Amru Allahu bil ijtima'i fi deen. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded to be f- to stick together upon the religion and do not divide. Naam. Qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa anna hadha sirati mustaqima. Fattabi'uh wa la tattabi'u subal fatafarraqa bikum an sabilihi. Thalikum wa saakum bihi la'allakum tattakum. And this is my straight path. Follow it and do not follow other paths. Do not deviate from this one path. فَتَفَرَّقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِي He'll divide you from his path. This I advise and command you with. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Perhaps you be from the people of taqwa. So therefore, الْإِجْتِمَاعِ فِي الدِّينِ مِنَ التَّقْوَى Sticking together upon the deen is from piety and righteousness. Those who are from the people of taqwa are the people of al-ittiba. Those who are the people of taqwa are the people of compliance to the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And those people of taqwa are the people from al-ijtima. Yishtami'una ala deen or fi deen. They stick together upon the religion. Fala tafarraqoon. But they do not divide. Naam, this is the characteristics of the people of Taqwa. So this is an important, important affair, ya ahibba. One that we need to reflect upon. One that we need to make sure that we apply. Naam, because this is from the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise we know, ya ikhwatil kiram, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, wa Allah. وَرَسُولَهُ وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا فَتَفْشَلُوا وَتَذْهَبَ الْرِيحُكُمْ وَاصْبِرُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, And obey Allah and obey the messenger. وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا And do not dispute from amongst you. Do not go away and tear away from that obedience of Allah and obedience of the Messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا فَتَفْشَلُوا وَتَذْهَبَ الْرِيحُكُمْ You will be at loss and your reeh, your life will go. Your quwa will go as the ulama have explained. يَعْنِي تَذْهَبَ الْرِيحُكُمْ يَعْنِي قُوَّتَكُمْ Your strength will go. وَاسْبِرُوا Be patient upon obedience. Upon the ta'a of Allah, upon the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and upon the obedience of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wasbiru inna Allah ma'as sabirin. Because verily Allah is with those who are patient. Being patient upon the obedience of Allah, and being patient upon the sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, herein keeps the ijtima, keeps the people upon unity. Naam, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given victory to those who are firm upon his deen and are united upon the deen and united upon the sunnah. Who alladhi ayyadaka bin nasrihi wa bil mu'mineen. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, and he's the one who, who gives you aid and victory and the believers. Wa allafa bayna qulubikum. And has unified your hearts, put your hearts together. Lo an faqta ma fil ardi jami'a. مَا أَلَّفْتَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِهِمْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ أَلَّفَ بَيْنَهُمْ إِنَّهُ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيمٌ And if you, 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gathered the hearts together upon his deen. If you were to give him charity in the whole of the world, all of you, jami'an, all of that which is in the world, their hearts will not be together. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made their hearts upon unity. And that is because their, their unity and their ijtima is upon the obedience of Allah. Is upon the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this year, Ikhwati al-Karam is an important point. And that there is no gathering. There is no unity. Except that is upon the book of Allah. And the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Except it's upon the rope of Allah. Wa'atasimu bihabilillah. Jami'an. Wa la tafarraku. Hold firm to the rope of Allah all of you and do not divide. This is an important asal ikhwah. After studying Al-Ikhlas, the importance of Al-Ikhlas with Deen, the importance of sincerity and Tawheed in the Deen, we must hold firm to this Ikhlas. We must hold firm to this sincerity. We must hold firm to this Deen together and do not divide. And do not divide. And in Shaykh al-Islam, he says, Rahimullah, in this amazing asal from Usul Sitta, he says, Allah has clarified this in a way that is clear, that even the most general of folk, of people, would understand it. So when we hear the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where he says, وَأَنَّ هَذَا سِرَاطِ مُسْتَقِيمًا فَاتَّبِعُهُ وَلَا تَأْتَبِعُ سُبَلْ فَتَفَرَّقُ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ this is my straight path, follow it. And do not follow other paths because it will deviate you from his path. It will cause division. Every general person knows this. When Allah SWT says, وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And do not divide. وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءَ فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ Remember the blessings of Allah upon you. When you were enemies and Allah Gathered your hearts together. So you have become brothers due to the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's, it takes an indivi- any individual who hears this verse would want to race towards al ijtima fid and stick into the religion. And the general person understands this. And then he says... Uh, uh, Rahimullah, Wanahana and Nakuna Kaladina Tafarraku Wertelefu Koblana Fahalaku. And the next point he mentions here, Rahimullah, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, has prohibited us, we've been prohibited by Allah and the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not imitating and being like those before us who divided. Who divided. And due to their dividing and their split, they were destroyed. They were destroyed. قال الله سبحانه وتعالى إن الذين فرقوا دينهم كانوا شيعة لست منهم في شيء إنما أمرهم من الله وقال تبارك وتعالى ولا تكونوا كالذين تفرقوا واختلفوا الله سبحانه وتعالى he says that Verily those who divide in their religion, who turn away from the haqq and turn away from the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa kanu shia and form into different groups less than minhum fi shay. You are not from them. Innama amruhum min Allah. The affair is with Allah. Allah will take them to account from them stay, splitting away from the rope of Allah. And in another verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَلَا تَكُونُ كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا and do not be like those who divided and split. Those from the umm from before, learn from their mistakes. Learn from their splitting. And this goes in accordance to the statement of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. إِنَّ الْيَهُودِ اِفْتَرَقَتِ الْيَهُودِ Or كَمَا قَالَ sallallahu alayhi wa sallam اِفْتَرَقَتِ الْيَهُودِ إِلَا إِحْدَى وَسَبِئِينَ فِرْقَةِ 
وافترقت النصارى إلى اثنتين وسبعين فرقة وستفترق هذه الأمة إلى ثلاث وسبعين فرقة كلها في النار إلا واحدة من هم يا رسول الله من كان على مثل ما أنا عليه اليوم أصحابي where the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said that the Jews they split into 71 sects the Christians they split into 72 sects and this ummah was split into 73 sects all of them in the hellfire bar one and when he was asked who they were the messenger said that the one that is saved are those who upon what he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was upon that day and his hashab and his companions because all of these sects, they split away from the jama'ah. They split away from the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his rusul. The da'wah of the anbiya, the call of the prophets, the call to tawheed, the call to al tiba the call to compliance to the sharia, to the legislation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the call to the way of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They split from this, so therefore they form groups and sects. كُلُّ حِزْبٍ بِمَا لَدَيْهِمْ فَرِحُونَ Every group, with the, uh, every group are haughty and arrogant with that which they are upon. Splitting away from the jama'ah. Splitting away from the way of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we have to learn and take Ibr from the Yehud and Nasara. Take admonition from what occurred there and follow the statement of, the, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And do not be like those who, defi- who divided and split and that division and that split was due to their disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their disobedience to the messengers that were sent to them Do not be like them and disobey Allah and disobey the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and cause division because verily ya akhi if you innovate in the deen so verily ya akhi if you tahazzab fi deen you turn into you turn to hizbiya and partisanship in the deen ya akhi if you al wala wal bara your allegiance is to other than Allah and the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ya Akhi If you are not about following the Adilla and following the proofs and following the truth that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Nezala revealed to man Rahmatan as a mercy If you are not doing this and you're, div- and you're disobeying Allah and opposing the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam you have been a cause of division you have been a cause of the split in the ummah accept it or not by your moving away from the sunnah and innovating in the deen that which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not given you sultan has not given you authority you have caused division in the ummah so the tablighi jama'a have caused division in the ummah the sufis have caused division in the ummah the ikhwan have caused division in the ummah the ikhwan muslimin have caused division in the ummah the khawarij buka haram isis daesh they've caused division in the ummah the Ahbash have caused division in the Ummah. The Obandis have caused division in the Ummah. Hizb Tahrir have caused division in the Ummah. The Jahmiyyah have caused division in the Ummah. The Mu'tazila have caused division in the Ummah. The Ashaira have caused division in the Ummah. The Maturidiyya have caused division in the Ummah. The Ma'rabis have caused division in the Ummah. The Halabis have caused division in the Ummah. 
those who have opposed the usul of this deen, the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qad itaba'u subal, they have followed other paths, fatafarraqa fi sabilillah, then they have divided in the religion of Allah, which is why the ones who stick to the obedience of Allah and the usul of the deen and obedience of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam staying away from shirk and, and, and bid'ah and sticking to al tiba, compliance and obedience and being patient upon that has indeed is indeed from those who are calling the ummah to that ijtima, to that rahmah, to that mercy. And that is sticking together upon the obedience of Allah. al ijtima fi deen wal ibti'ad an tafarruq fi staying away from dividing in this religion. Those who are following the sunnah are aiding in this. Inna hadihi ummatukum. Ummatan wahida. Wa ana rabbukum fa'budun. Sticking together upon ibadah. Sticking together upon tawheed. Sticking together upon the sunnah. And this is from the shukr. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said. Wathkuru ni'matallahi alaykum. Remember the name of Allah. Remember the blessings of Allah. Alaykum. It kuntu ma'dah. You were enemies for Allah for bayna qulubikum. Then Allah brought your hearts together with this tawheed, ya akhi. This beautiful tawheed. La ilaha illallah. The beautiful sunnah of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The one that gives us life. Istajibu lillah. Rasul, إِذَا دَعَاكُمْ لِمَا يُحِيكُمْ Answer to the call of Allah and the call of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when they call you to that which gives you life. Sticking to the Sunnah gives us life. Sticking to the Sunnah will give us life. And sticking, staying away from the Sunnah will give us death before death. Death of the heart. If we oppose the sunnah and oppose the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is death before death. Death of the heart before the final death. Your rih will go. Obey Allah. Do not divide. Do not divide upon disobedience. Stick together upon the obedience. It's clear. لَيْلُهَا كَالنَّهَارِ لَا يَزِيغُ عَنْهَا إِلَّا حَالِكَ Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has left us with something that's this bayda, it's clear. It's night is like it's day. None diverts from this except he's destroyed. لَا تَنَازَعُوا Do not dispute amongst you. تَفْشَلُوا وَتَذْهَبَ رِحُكُمْ And your rih, your strength and your quwa will go. Do not divide, stick together upon the sunnah of Allah. For verily, الَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا مِنْ قَبْلِنَا Those who divided before us, وَاخْتَلَفُوا قَبْلَنَا And they divided and split before us, هَلَكُوا They were destroyed. Because النَّجَاه Because safety is with الْاتِّبَاعِ is with compliance and following the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then shaykh al-islam muhammad abdul hab rahimullah he mentions wa yazeeduhu wuduhan ma waradat bihi as-sunnah min al-ajab al-ujab fi dhalik and then he says rahimullah then that which increases this yani this command from allah of sticking together from the deen and the prohibition of dividing therein, that which increases in the clarity of this 
is that which is mentioned in the Sunnah. Is that which the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned in the Sunnah. Has mentioned in the Hadith. Naam. In this Hadith that is Sahih. Min al-ajab al-ujab. Fi thalik. Something that is amazing. And strange in its clarity. And from that is the statement of the Nambi. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fa innahum man ya'ish. Minkum. Fa sayyara akhtilafan kathira. Fa alaykum bi sunnati. Wa sunnati al-khulafai al-rashidi. Where the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He mentioned an issue that would occur. Said so those of you who live long. From amongst you. Will surely see. Ikhtilafan kathira. Who see many divisions and splitting. This is a problem. Well, ilaj and the cure for alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati al khulafa al rashidin. So, then upon you is my sunnah and the sunnah of the khulafa Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, radiyallahu anhum, the Sahaba, the sunnah of the messenger. And the Sunnah of Abu Bakr, Abi Bakr, and the Sunnah of Umar, and the Sunnah of Uthman, and the Sunnah of Ali bin Abi Talib, the Sahaba, the way of the Salaf. These are the Salaf. Upon us is to stick to the Sunnah of the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Naam, and the way of the Sahaba. And this is the cure for the ikhtilaf. This is the cure for the division. So we combat this division that those of people of innovation have spread with the ilaj that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi with the cure and remedy that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in the sunnah. And that is Barakallahu Fikum. That is sticking to the sunnah, sticking to his sunnah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the way of the sahaba, and the way of the sahaba. And likewise, we have an, a narration on the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that's a hadith which is in Bukhari Muslim, where he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Alam yajidukum dalala fahadakum Allah bi wa kuntum mutafarriqina fajama'akum Allah bi wa alatan fa'agnakum Allah bi where the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said didn't I find you astray then Allah guided you through him his sunnah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَكُنْتُمْ مُتَفَرِّقِينَ And weren't you divided in groups and parties and division? فَجَمَعَكُمُ اللَّهُ bi. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gathered you together. Yani bi upon his sunnah, following his sunnah. وَعَالَةً And you were poor فَأَغْنَاكُمُ اللَّهُ bi. And you were poor and destitute. And Allah made you content and reached you through him. Following his sunnah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَكُنْتُمْ مُتَفَرِّقِينَ فَجَمَعَكُمُ اللَّهُ بِي You were divided. And Allah gathered you together and put you together. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Upon his sunnah. Now we're together upon the sunnah. This is clear for, uh, for the awab. This is clear for the talib al-ilm. This is clear for the alim. That in the Quran and the sunnah, there is a command of sticking together upon the deen. Upon the Quran and the Sunnah. And likewise, we have the hadith of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Thalathun. La yaghillu alayhin qalb al Muslim, or qalb al Muslim, ikhlasu al amal lillah, wa nasihat lil Muslimin, wa al zumu jama'atihim. Rawahu Ahmed wa Abu Dawood wa Tirmidhi wa gayrihim. And that is. The statement of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he says three things that would not would, would save the 
the abd from his heart to have hatred, for there to be hatred, an illness of hatred and hiqt. Three things. The first is al ikhlas al amru lillah, and that is being sincere with one's actions for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tawheed. And the same as the first principle of this usul al sitta. Wa nasiha lil muslimin, and advising the believers, and from that is advising the rulers. According to the Sunnah, Naam, and advising your neighbor according to the Sunnah, your parents according to the Sunnah, with rifq, with gentleness and lean and softness and, and, and care, walazum jama'atihim, and sticking to the jama'ah, sticking to the group, sticking to the ijtima'ah, the jama'ah, and that's the deen upon the deen, the jama'ah upon the deen. كما قال عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله عنه الجماعة ما وافق الحق ولو كنت وحدك and that jama'ah is that which is in accordance to the truth according to the Quran and the Sunnah and the way of the Salaf even if you're by yourself these are three things that if an individual does this there will be no hit in their heart there will be no uh, hatred for the other believer there will be no hatred and hatred and rancor only enters into the ummah when there is disobedience of Allah and there's no ikhlas in the amal, there's no sincerity and the nasiha and the advice is not according to the sunnah and one stays away from the jama'ah, stays away from the manhaj as-salaf, stays away from the, the uh, ahl sunnati wal jama'ah and divides by innovating in the deen and introducing invented matters that Allah never gave him sultan for. Naam, this is amazing hadith of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One that makes us reflect and makes us, should make us have this urgency to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stick to the jama'ah. And this wuduh and this clarity is marwaradat fi awbihi as sunnah, is mentioned in the sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then uh, Shaykh al-Islam Muhammad Wahab rahimahullah ta'ala said ثُمَّ صَارَ الْعَمْرُ إِلَىٰ أَنَّ الْإِفْتِرَاقَ فِي أُصُولِ الدِّينِ وَفُرُوعِهِ هُوَ الْعِلْمُ وَالْفِقْهُ فِي الدِّينِ وَصَارَ الْإِجْتِمَاعُ فِي الدِّينِ لَا يَقُولُهُ إِلَّا زِنْدِيقٌ أَوْ مَجْنُونٌ And that is that he mentioned during his time rahimahullah that after a while the affair became that division in the foundations of the religion and its branches is considered ilm and having understanding in the religion and this is the way of Ahl Bidah that they have now made that division is Rahma they say they say that division is Rahma which is a weak hadith they say that division is good everybody has their own way the qaid and the principle of the Ikhwan Muslimin. And that is, we stick together upon that which we agree upon. And those things that we differ regarding, we ignore it. We excuse each other. Because they consider iftiraq. This iftiraq, this division, this iftiraq in aqidah, iftiraq and division in the usul of the deen, in the sunnah, and in aqidah, in asma sifat, in uluhiyah, in arububiyah, in masail aqadiyah, in sifatullah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the attributes of Allah, the names and attributes of Allah. There's difference in this, don't worry, they're saying. This is the way of the ikhwani muslimin. And this principle is a destructive principle. And that is that we come together upon that which we agree upon. And we ignore that which we differ in. So if there's a difference in Usuluddin in the Tawheed, they say they ignore it. Just concentrate upon that which you agree upon. And if there's difference in as it relates to going to the Qubur and going to the graves, ignore it. Let's concentrate on that which we agree upon. And if there's differences, as it relates to the rulers, let's ignore it. Let's come together upon that which we agree upon. And if there is differences as it relates 
to uh, a tawassul, an intercession, uh, and tawakkul, and a dua, and all of the affairs. Let's leave it, they say, and concentrate on that which we agree upon. And this is manhaj al hadama. This is a destructive methodology of the ikhwan, of the ikhwan al-Muslimin, started by Hassan Banna and applied by other than him from the ikhwan to this day. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat lin nas ta'maruna bil ma'roof wa tanhawna anil munkar wa tu'minuna billah. You are the best nation that has come from man. You command the good and you command with tawheed and command with the sunnah and command with the obedience of Allah and you forbid the evil and you forbid shirk and forbid bid'ah, innovations and disobedience to Allah billah, because of this iman that you have of Allah you believe in Allah and it shows the importance of tawheed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ended it with tawheed because that is what makes us the khayr ummah because of this da'wah of the tawheed da'wah to la ilaha illallah we command the good and command the tawheed one against shirk but now these people say al-iftiraq differing in the usul is something they say is good is ilm and fiqh and is hikmah kalla this is not hikmah this is dhulm this is dhulm this is oppression na'am it's oppression to the oneself oppression to the people and it's a disrespect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who commanded us with tawheed and commanded us and 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 natamassak bima amara bihi subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ma amara bihi rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sara al ijtima'u fi ad-din la yaquluhu illa zindiq aw majnun so the ones who call to sticking together upon the deen they are thus labeled now as being heretics and insane and this is mentioned by Muhammad Abdul Hab rahimullah during his time and this is what we find during our time that those who call to stick into the sunnah and stick into the way of the messenger uh, the, 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 the Quran and stick into the way of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam according to the understanding of the salaf they say that this person is, is mutashaddid that this person is harsh they make names for these people for the people of the sunnah in order to deter the, the, the general masses from this obedience. So when people say do not divide in the religion, do not introduce innovation, do not introduce newly invented matters in the deen, do not form groups and parties, splitting away from the jama'ah, splitting away from the sunnah, they say that you are mutashaddid and you are causing division. Kalla. Those who cause division are those who stay away from the asal. And the asal is al tiba The origin is following and following the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is something that's happened in the time of Shaykh al-Islam, Muhammad Abdul Hab, rahimullah. And likewise, it's occurring now. So don't be shocked here, Ahl al-Sunnah. If you hear names being flung, flung to you for sticking to the sunnah, do not pay any mind. For inna aqibatu lit taqwa. But verily the end is for the one who have taqwa. And the people of taqwa, the people of righteousness, are those who obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stick to his path and do not divide from that path. And this is my straight path. Then follow it and do not follow other paths. Because it would divert you from his path. This I advise you and command you with in order for you to attain taqwa. So the people of taqwa are the people of ittiba. The people who follow the way of the messenger of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. According to the understanding of the salaf. They are the people of taqwa. So stay on that taqwa. Stay on that path of taqwa. Stay on the path of the muttaqeen. Stay on the, on the path of the Alladina and Anam Allahu Alayhim. Those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given his blessings to from the Nabiyeen, from the Prophets, was Salihin, and the pious one, Nam, the pious ones, yani the Salaf and the Sahaba. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
to make us be from those who aid in the ijtima, in the unity of this ummah upon the deen, by following the sunnah in ourselves, in our homes, in our families, our children, and our friends, and advising each other upon taqwa, reminding each other of following the sunnah, and being sincere, and having ikhlas and sidq, because verily sidq is the sign of our sincerity, and the sadiqoon are those who are muttabi'oon, li sunnati rasulillahi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, those are those who follow the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they are the truthful ones, they are true to that which they attest to, and that is ashadu an la ilaha illallah, ashadu anna muhammad rasulullah, and that is testification that is none that deserves to be worshipped except Allah. And that Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the Messenger of Allah. So do not turn to those or pay any mind to those who may revile you or curse you or call you names for sticking to the Sunnah. Because verily the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was called names Sahirun or Majnoon. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that they said that he is a sahib, that he was a magician or majnoon or insane. Naam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defended him. La yantiqu anil hawa in huwa illa wahi yuha. That he does not speak from his desires, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but it's a revelation revealed to him. They cursed him, they called the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, names. So it is not surprising that those who follow the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be called names so tamassaku bi sunnah wa isbiru ala sunnah wa qif haythu ma waqaf al qawm wa qul bima qalu wa kafu amma kafu an wa asluk sabila ka salaf al salih stick to the sunnah be patient of the sunnah and stop where the people stopped yani the sahaba and say that which they said yani the sahaba and refrain from that which they refrain from yani the sahaba because that which was sufficient for them is sufficient for you. We do not know anything. We do not need anything new. Nam. So follow the sabil. Follow the path of the salaf al salih. And this is how this ummah will be united. This is how division will be eradicated. Wa sallallahu wa sallama wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. والحمد لله رب العالمين